one of maybe on well, this might be the only video actually of <laughs> website management for beginners um, so just a little backstory about why I'm making this video for it slash videos uh, is because I started to learn uh, web design you know just basic HTML and CSS and I was able to make folders on my own computer um, but I wasn't really sure about you know how to make an actual website I knew how to make you know, a quote unquote website on my computer and open it in Chrome but it's not publicly available it's on my local host so today I'm gonna help you guys uh, to make a website from the very basics uh, so I'm not gonna be you know going into WordPress or anything like that in this video at least uh, it's just gonna be about transferring files from your computer your workstation to a web server uh, and how to basically start a website I'm gonna cover hosting and domains so here we go so I included a um, uh, a link in the description where you can go to start a website now I recommend iPage uh, it's I just don't I just recommend iPage uh, I, I use iPage for all my customers everyone that I make websites for I use it for my own personal use and it's due to the fact that they're really really cheap um, but they're not like cheap and you don't get quality service they're 24-7 support service which is phenomenal I mean I mean the most I've waited for service was five minutes and so they're from phenomenal with that uh, you know I paid thirty dollars for a year of hosting unlimited hosting and um, in a domain name and uh, I was able to get site lock as well which was included so uh, you just click on the link I provide in the description and hit sign up now once you hit sign up now, uh, give it a second. Um, it will ask you what website name do you want. So do you want, you know, for example, Google. Doc, I mean, obviously you can't buy Google.com, but you know your website name, and then dot whatever. They'll they'll give you a list of other TLDs, top level domains. You know, top level domain is a dot com, dot net, dot biz, dot you know, etc. So you'll type that in, you'll buy it, and I also I recommend domain privacy. It's not, I mean, it, it's not needed, but it's really nice to have because uh, you could do a who is search on every website, and if you do not get domain privacy, people can find out your address, your full name, phone number, etc. So I recommend getting that, especially if you're going to be posting controversial things with a lot of traffic on your website. So once you you know do all that, you will then go to your domain control panel. It is it is laid out. Per, it, it, you know I've used one and one and other sites, and this is simple. This is as simple as it can get. Um, you go to website and you get all these uh, your email domain so what I recommend for the beginner is just to mainly worry about FTP and file manager FTP is file transfer protocol and that's what you'll be using to transfer files from your computer to your web server okay so uh, you'll need an FTP client and you know the industry standard industry standard is FileZilla which is this one right here you'll have to download that but if you don't want to download that you can use file manager I'm just gonna well I'll show you both I guess so you'll download FileZilla and you'll have to log into your uh, account so what you're gonna do is go to FT uh, website and then FTP and then create an account okay so uh, whatever you make your uh, username and password to be save that so you can log into FileZilla so FileZilla will pop up like this and your host username and password your host is going to be FTP dot your um, domain name okay so whatever you made your domain uh, to be that's your login your username is going to be the username you made on the FTP page, and the password is going to be the password you made on the um, 
FTP page as well. So you're just going to hit quick connect and it's going to retrieve a directory a directory listing a forward slash. Now forward slash is your root directory. So when someone types in xyz.com, they're going to hit the root uh, root file. So basically the forward slash is the home page. Just think of it as that. And the uh, other folders like store and you know other uh, folders will be you know xyz.com forward slash store forward slash this so the different folders you can organize by different dates um, you know just different you know links people can click on now the the dot you know the folders that say logs JS images you won't be able to access that online just do the fact they don't have uh, index HTML files so let's find um, our uh, you know the folder we're gonna transfer over so um, I'm actually gonna delete all this right now so I'm just gonna hit delete this might take a second actually okay so I was able to uh, delete everything off my website and my website is now completely cleaned of everything so boostedbanners.com doesn't have anything on it anymore so you're gonna find on the local site where you made your website now all you gotta do is literally do this you click it and you drag it over and it's gonna start uploading the files to your website it is simple as that there's nothing more to it and you're just gonna let it upload and just let it be so I'll come back once everything's transferred over so everything transferred over let's I don't know what the website actually looks like I might have uploaded the wrong uh, the wrong file I think this is right yep so that's that's it that's basically it um, now let's see much so now I will show you the file manager side of things if you can't FTP and you have to file manager um, which kinda sucks but you gotta do what you gotta do um, so this is actually my other website uh, so basically let's say let's do this real quick so let's say you have you know a CSS folder fonts images JavaScript folder all you're gonna do is come up here to the top left and you're gonna click on root directory and then you're gonna hit new directory and you're gonna name it let's say the CSS folder and then basically you're gonna dr drag and drop all the uh, files in the CSS folder into the one you just made it's it's as simple as that um, and I'm, I'm not gonna get into actually scripting and I don't know if you call it scripting, but making making the website in HTML and CSS. I'm not going to get into that, but that's just basically uploading files to a website, just not to make it confusing. So um, I'll show you on Notepad plus <coughs> Notepad plus plus. So let's say uh, right here, making a link, and I want it to go to my root directory. So um, on my web server. It's forward slash. Now, if I want the home button to go to uh, the store, I'm gonna, you know, forward slash store, and I'll go to the store folder or whatever you want it to go to in the store folder. And if you have another folder within the store folder, and it's shoes, and then you go women's shoes or whatever. It's as easy as that. Um, yeah. So that's about it. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to shoot me a message. Uh, but it's pretty self-explanatory it's really easy to do if you missed a spot uh, just rewind and go back to the, the part where you missed because I, I covered pretty much everything so yeah have a good one guys